Welcome to Iconic Empires Influencer TV. I'm Janine Howard and I'm your host of the show. So who am I? So my background has been in magazines and media for many, many years. So normally I was on the other side of the fence, create, you know, having people come to me to get their story put out into the media, um, you know, doing beautiful cover stories, photography, all sorts of things. These days, I actually help female entrepreneurs get their own profile out there. So through a variety of methods. My personal methods are things like having a content marketing platform, getting yourself there in PR, having yourself interviewed, seen as an expert, being omnipresent in the market online, and also by speaking. So one of the, the great ways I've built my business is through speaking. Today though, I'm going to teach you how to build your own six-figure business. Uh, you know, could even be a seven-figure business as some of my clients have done. Now I've got some notes, so forgive me if I look down, but I really want to give you my top tips today. And I've got 11, so make it snappy. All right, so just quickly tell you about one of my clients. She uh, was working in a full-time job and when she first started working with me we decided to pull her down to, to four days working that job so she had a day a week to start building her own business within just a few short months she'd actually moved completely out of that full-time business into her own business she is now on track for seven figures in her first year now that is actually kind of crazy uh, for her, she's got really high ticket sales. Um, she's an interior designer, so she sells furniture packages. So there's some really high ticket stuff. So it's not necessarily profit for her, all of that money. Um, but to be on track for seven figures, bloody awesome. Or oh, if you don't know me, I like to have a little swear as well. I'll get out again. So don't hold that against me. So number one, to build your own six or seven figure business, you need absolute self-belief. Yes, it all starts with self-belief. I don't need to go into that too much because I think you kind of get it that you need to really believe you can be that person who has that kind of business. Um, so that's why with my clients in my Influence Academy work a lot on mindset. You know, mindset's usually 80% of holding people back. Uh, so with my client, Melissa, she just knew, she just visualized all of the time having that beautiful business that really supported her and, um, you know, really gave her great income. Number two is a really clear strategy. Now, of course, if you want to build a really sustainable six or seven figure business, you need an actual strategy. I will say too that sometimes you need to try a different strategy that suits you best. And that's where, for example, in my academy, Every client's different, right? So we don't just cookie cutter and say like, everyone has to do it this way. This week, do this. This week, do this. We really tailor it to each client because some people might be really great on videos. Some people might be really great on building funnels. Some people might be really great at doing speaking and selling from stage. So but you've got to have a very clear strategy. So with that strategy, I usually say get two really good forms of strategy and nail those before you go and do everything else. Because I think too what tends to happen is you can end up doing loads of slight scattergun approach, um, bit here, bit there, and be really super busy and it all just fall flat on its face. So pick two different methods. So for me, I use an online method with uh, Facebook advertising and funnels and then I also use public speaking. So I know for me, I don't do it a huge amount, but I know for me, every time I speak, I return in sales is usually $30,000, $50,000. Not bad. Uh, number three on how to build a six or seven figure business is the systems and the processes, the boring stuff, right? Now, because I've got a magazine background, I'm really very good on you know creating a system every time I do something create a system even if it was only just me working in the business I had a system so that when I scaled and had a staff member come on I could give them the process and say this is how we do it um, one of my magazine businesses the reason I sold was able to sell that business to the first person I you know <laughs> mentioned it to was because I had a book here's a book Here's how to do it. Here's how, how to turn on the lights, turn on the air conditioning to literally, you know, every part of that business was systemized and processed. Now, if you're doing an online business, like these days, there's so many different applications you can use to automate your, and systemate 
systemize your business so there's no excuse. And that's the only way that you're really going to be able to scale. Number four on how to build a six or seven figure business is really clear positioning. You know, there's so many coaches, consultants, service based, you know, all of that out there in the market. But what's different about you? Okay, now this is an area that, look, honestly, I battled with when I first started my coaching practice. Um, you know, now really falling into my niche that's my media background, turning you into an influencer or an expert. That's my thing. But you need to work out what that is. What's your unique gift and talent that you can show the world? What's your unique brand positioning? And it doesn't have to be your fancy pants, by the way, people. Like these days, the more real and authentic you are, the more people can relate to you, you know, like sometimes we look at say Instagram bloggers and they're all like super gorgeous and super fabulous. And it's wonderful to look at and be inspired by, but are you actually going to buy from them? You know, like we really need to, to get that, uh, like who is that person? What are their values? What do they stand for? Number five is consistent marketing. Now, little secret, I call myself the lazy marketer. <laughs> I, because I've had such a big profile over the years with magazines and being in the media, um, I've had a lot of clients just come to me. I haven't had to work too hard to get those clients. So sometimes I get a little bit lazy in my marketing and don't really get consistent. So, but I'm telling you that especially too, if you don't have a following or you don't have a, an email list, you've got to be consistent. Pick something uh, which is one of my next points, a content marketing platform, and just get your marketing out there consistently, even when you think no one is listening. They're watching. Yeah. Number six is a content marketing platform. This is my jam, people. I don't care whether you want to have a print magazine, a digital magazine, a blog, a podcast, a YouTube TV station. Uh, you know, if you just want to be on Instagram, pick one platform and really do it well and be consistent. See point number five and just keep showing up. Might even just be Facebook lives, but pick a content marketing platform and really do it well because you will start to get known. Most people give up just before their audience is really taking a hold. You know, you might do, you know, 10 Facebook lives and no one's showing up, no one's interacting. But then on the 11th, we start getting traction. And then next thing you know, you're, you're the Facebook live queen and you're selling products and things left, right and center. So don't give up too soon. Number seven of how to, to build a six or seven figure business. And in my case, I like to say being an influencer is to partner with other brands for leverage. Don't do it all yourself, people. So one of the things I've done really well over the years is partner with uh, brands that have a really good presence already and my association with them lifts my credibility and brand. You know, even if you're doing, say so your content marketing platform, so your number six, is um, an interview series. One of the best ways for you to become an expert or seen as an expert is being interviewed, uh, sorry, interviewing other people whose brand is much higher than yours. And by association, your brand gets then lifted. And by the way, you'll end up getting interviewed as well. Number eight is to really, I know this sounds like so simple, is self-care. Look, you know, when you're trying to hold up a business that's like six or seven figures, um, there's a lot of responsibility that comes with that. So you need to be in the right place mentally, mentally and physically and energetically. So eating right, getting enough sleep, like really looking after yourself. I remember um, I watched a video one day and the guy was saying, the most important thing you could do is look after your chakras, <laughs> right? So balance your energy, you know, do what you need to do regular massages, eat great, exercise, go for walks out in nature, get grounded, use essential oils, eat organic, become a vegan, whatever it is for you, look after yourself. Number nine is bring joy and service into your business. If you are operating from a place of scarcity and hustle mode, you're going to get the same back. You're going to get the same type of clients. You're going to get the same type of results, all scattergun and hustle, hustle, hustle. So one of the best things to do is just, you know, every day try and serve your community as best as you possibly can and do it from a place of love and joy. Yeah, enough said on that. 
Number 10 is having really clear boundaries and self-worth. All right, so these are very similar to the last two, but you know, don't allow other people's agenda to come into your world. You know, make your world like your work world and your private world really sacred. And by that, I mean, you control what you do by, from a place of what you want. So for example, if you're getting up in the morning and checking Facebook and you're doing your emails first thing before you've even done anything for yourself, boundaries are being trodden all over. It's not other people's problem. It's your problem. So have really clear boundaries. For example, in the morning, I don't start work or speak on the phone or get on a Facebook live or anything until at least like 9, 9.30 because I keep that morning time for me really sacred and I keep it for me to be with my family, me to have a beautiful, fresh, healthy breakfast every day. Perhaps I'm doing some yoga, um, maybe some meditation in the morning before the kids get up and I'm in bed doing it. But whatever I can, I grab that time to get myself into state because then I can be out there in the world. I can be the best version of me. And lastly, I think this is number 11. It's like my little like throw secret sauce in. Get a coach or a mentor. Seriously, this is not a sales pitch, but this, like for me, having a coach or a mentor constantly has been the game changer for me. It keeps you accountable. It makes you grow. It makes you look at all of the stuff you really don't want to kind of look at in yourself and your business that's holding you back. Process them, clear them out and move forward. Honestly, people, I don't know why everyone doesn't have a coach and it's not therapy, by the way. Therapy is a really different thing. I think therapy is more about ruminating and keep going over your story. It's about moving past the story, moving past the old self of you into that person who has that six figure business, multiple six figure business, seven figure business. You know, you can't do this stuff alone. And if you have like tops to you, but I'm sure you probably had really great people around you supporting you. But you know, if you're someone like me, like mum, I'm at home most of the time, um, you know, kind of in my own world a lot of the time, like sure, I've got girlfriends, that kind of thing. But for me, it's that coach that I can just go to and say, this is what's going on, what's happening. Self-awareness, aha, uh -huh, interesting, and then moving through that. So there's my 11 tips of how you can run a multiple six or seven figure business. Um, know that it's not about the money people, right? I used to think it's about the money. It's not about the money. When you're, when you're serving and really giving, then the money comes, all right? So you need to have that place of, you know, wanting to be a service to the community so that you can earn the money that you are worth and therefore be able to actually spread more of your message and scale your business. So that's what we're all about here at Iconic Empires is creating beautiful empires that have influence and for good in the world, not evil. That's not my tagline. <laughs> but, you know, we really want to have businesses that help and empower other people. And it all starts with not me starts with you. Look after yourself first and foremost. So like, subscribe, comment below, share with your friends, you know, come back, look at the channel, look at all of this beautiful content that I've made for you because you get to be an influencer if you choose to. And I know you've got a message. So come and join the channel, follow Iconic Empires. We've got loads of free training for you and we'll see you on the next video. Bye for now.